Hello everyone, my name is Andre Dima, I'm a professional travel photographer and these are my 5 reasons why I bought the Fujifilm X-T5. I've been using this camera since it came out and I'm very happy with my decision, so I wanted to share why I got the camera with you. The first reason is weight and size. Those that follow the channel know I want to downsize as much as I can because I travel a lot, hike a lot, and after so many years of doing this, well, I got tired of oversized backpacks, big cameras, and lenses. And Fujifilm gear helped me to do this in the past few years. So this is my first reason why I got the Fujifilm X-T5, because it is smaller and lighter. I know it is not much, but when you put all your gear together, you can feel it. I also like to use my cameras with wrist straps when I roam the streets of the cities I travel to, so I handheld the camera almost all the time. When it comes to this, the X-T5 is a breeze to use especially with prime lenses like the 35mm f1.4, my favorite Fuji lens, or the f2WR primes. The 27mm Mark II makes it almost jacket pocketable. The 16mm f2.8, one of the nicest Fuji lenses that I just discovered, and much more. This helps me stay longer outside and take more photos, lets me think more about composition and light, enjoy a coffee, not being a big target for thieves which, with a big camera and a big backpack, you are in some locations. So less is more for me nowadays. The second reason is battery life. When I travel, I also shoot video for different reasons, personal, professional, and when you mix photo and video, the battery runs out so quickly, especially when you travel and there are so many things you want to film or photograph, so the improvement in battery consumption is a big plus. Recently I got almost a full day of shooting with one battery. And speaking about video, that is the third reason. Remember when Fujifilm X-T4 came out that none of the full frame cameras close to it in budget had 4K 10 bit recording internally or even externally, not to mention 4K 60? And these specs came from the X-T3. Fuji's trend to push great specs for video kinda moved things in a good direction for everyone. So the Fujifilm X-T5 does the same, I know for some the new specs are not much, but they kinda are. 6K, 422, 10-bit internally, none of us ever thought about specs like this a couple of years ago, F-Log2, 4K HQ, bit rates up to 360 megabytes per second for a camera under $2000. Come on, these specs are overkill for most users, even some professionals, but we have them and they are a big update for me because I like to color grade my footage. I know Fujifilm says this is a photocentric camera because of the screen, but still the video specs are great. The fourth reason, and this is the most important one for me and almost nobody talks about it, but I'm sure they will after this video, is the native ISO of 125. This gives me more flexibility while editing. I've been using Nikon cameras for a long long time and my favorite camera was the Nikon D850. And the main reason is ISO 64. The Z7 II that I'm still using has that ISO 64, which is quite impressive. I don't know how many times it saved my skin because I made mistakes, because I was tired and exposed wrong. You can push those files so much and still get good results. And now Fujifilm introduced the ISO 125, which should be close to that ISO 64. I'm not really sure, but camera manufacturers have different ways of measuring ISO. The important thing is I shot a lot of photos with the X-T5 at ISO 125, and I was very pleased with the results. The thing I didn't like on the X-T4 is that you couldn't recover shadows very well compared to my Nikon cameras. I know I am comparing APS-C with full frame, but at their base ISO the difference should not be that big. 
Well, I'm glad to say that this is not the case anymore. The ISO 125 and the new processor, yes, I said processor, I will appear again on camera conspiracies, produce some amazing RAW files that I can push almost as much as the Nikon files and that makes me very happy. And the last but not least, autofocus. Let's be honest, the autofocus, especially in video on the X-T4, is not that great. The photo autofocus is good, but when using tracking and video autofocus, well, we all know how it is. Not bad, not great. Now Fujifilm improved the autofocus. It is better, but still not great. Well, not yet on the X-T5, because the firmware 3.0 on the X-H2S made autofocus amazing. I made a video about that, so go watch it. And subscribe, it helps the channel a lot. But yeah, the autofocus is improved. I've been using it for a couple of months now and I am pleased with the results in photo and video. And if they manage to bring it to the level of the 3.0 XH2S, I am going to be very happy with my decision to buy this camera. So come on Fuji, release the update already. So those are my 5 reasons. Regarding resolution, I plan on making a separate video to show you the difference between 40 and 26 and discuss much more. So subscribe and ring the bell to get notified when that video comes out. Also if you want to support the channel even more, use the links in the description or check out my presets pack. See you next time.